Big day for you, too. Well, Gloria, anyway. I take it I can still count on your vote, Viv. Well, that's between me and my ballot sheet. But I thought you said I could rely on your support. Well, if that's what I said, that's what I meant. Cafe's looking wonderful since the refit. Very pleasant ambiance. You've been funny. No. Why should Viv Hope's support matter? It'll be fine. It's obvious she's not going to vote for me. Who's to say anyone else will? Gloria! We've come this far. Now, we'll have our breakfast and we'll get cracking. You do a tour of the polling offices, last minute canvassing, and I'll see if I can pick up a few straggling voters. Oh, Eric, I do hope everything's going to be all right. Oh, look, there's Steph. I know Gloria Pollard, and she's all right, I suppose. But the stories you hear about her husband and the children, they're all just Who's to say she won't go as corrupt as him? No further comment. How many more people have told me they support me when they don't? Where's that breakfast? <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Dad. Happy birthday to you. Thank you. <laughs> What's this? You'll have to unwrap it and see. That's fantastic. Did you do it all on your own? Yes. Well done. <laughs> yeah, Dad. Happy birthday. It's from me and Katie. Oh, right. Oh, come on. Oh, that's amazing. I nearly bought one of these the other day in Hotton. Well, yeah, but you didn't, and you probably never would have done. <sighs> Fair point. Thanks, you two. Hey, it's our pleasure just to thought we have a good day. And there's mine. Oh. But you'll get your real present off us all later. What's that supposed to mean? You'll see. <laughs> right. <laughs> Come on, you should get a move on. What's the rush? Come on, you two. We need to get last of your things together. I just want to get in touch with Danny. I think he switched his phone off. You said goodbye to him last night. Yeah, well, I want to say goodbye to him again and I can't get yeah, hold of all him. All right. It's not to bite my head off. Look, it doesn't matter if you've forgotten anything. I'll be back later to pick up anything you've left. You make it sound like we're never coming back. Well, I'm not. Yeah? Well, I am. What can I do for you? Well, I've brought your wage packet. Right, thanks. I've put a little bit extra in there. Can't be bought, Charity. Oh, Synth, I am sorry for accusing Letitia. I I've made a mistake and I feel really awful about it. Yeah? Yeah, and I didn't want to have to lose you over it as a friend or an employee. Look, Charity, we didn't have a special friendship. You're just worried because you've no housekeeper. Please. Look, can we just try and put all this behind us? Sorry. It's not gonna happen. I want to say goodbye. Molly. What's going on? I'm moving out. Why? Why do you think? Oh, come on, Danny. It was a misunderstanding. Look, please stay. There's no need to take it this far. No need. Do you expect me to live under the same roof as you? Where will you go? To B and B. Danny, look, I'm sorry. You know, I just think it's really sad that a woman of your age that's like a 12-year-old. She's telling lies and blaming stuff on people. When you're gonna grow up. Have a nice journey. Thanks Thank for you. your time. Bye. Are you going well? Oh, well. Uh, it's been a bit slow, but everyone who's been in has been stopped by me on the way out. And apart from your mind your business, everyone's been very forthcoming. <laughs> and how's Gloria doing? Well, to be honest, it's a bit too early to say. I just 
hope a few more people turn up. Voter apathy? Yeah. And the people who have shown up have been plumping for Elaine Corker or someone from the other main parties. Mind, I'll cross Mrs Pollard's box the minute those doors are declared open. Well, I'm sure she'll be very heartened to hear that, Laurel. Well, there's no-one else I'd vote for. She's an inspiration. I wouldn't have the art to tell her if she was doing badly. I mean, she should win. She's been through so much. I'll see you later. Take care of yourselves. Cheers, Lisa. Keep your spirits up, eh? Yeah. Danny! So it's time to go after all, then. I'll be back. Definitely. Danny, I'm coming back. I'll come see you as much as I can in the meantime. If you want me to. Of course I do. Come on, lad. Jarry's making a move. We're so sorry about what happened. We'll be thinking of you. See, Ollie. Look, your mum. She was happy till she met you. Come on. I've got a meeting now. Are you ready to get going? Yeah, just hang on a sec. Anyone would think you wanted to get rid of me? No, it's not that. I've just got things I need to be getting on with, you know. All right. Am I all right to take this blouse, then? No! Well, my, mine's covered in red wine. Yeah, I know, but I can't let you take it, love. I thought it was your wife's. It is, but... Well, she's not going to know, is she? No. Oh, I might not see you again, man. Are you saying I was a one-night stand? God. OK, you know, I, I'm not looking for anything serious. I thought you were the same. What's, what's the problem? Yeah, just save your breath, Mark. <sighs> oh, afternoon, Mr Sagsed. Afternoon. Could I just trouble you for some information? Well, it depends what you want to know. <laughs> uh, could you just tell me who you just voted for? Uh, Gloria. That's wonderful. Thanks for your loyalty. <laughs> oh, Nicola. What? Who would you vote for? What's got to do with you? Oh, it's just to give Mrs Pollard an idea of how many votes she's got, you see. Oh, right. Uh, well, I voted for her. Satisfied? Oh, that's fab. Thanks. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> well, I like hell I voted for her. Why did you say you did? To get that mad act off my back. I'm not wasting my vote on an independent. Here. Did you see me mum on the telly? Local news outside the polling station. Yeah, I caught the tail end of it. They interviewed me later on and all. Yes, I saw that too. <laughs> Isn't it terrible what cameras do to some people? What do you mean? You know, the way they pile the pounds on. I beg your pardon? Oh, not that you didn't come over as yourself. Could I have another orange juice, Tricia, when you're ready? <laughs> OK, hang on a minute. Let me explain. Drop dead! What's going on? What's it look like? You didn't spend the night here. Are you mad? What if he'd have come back? What, what if I was him? Yeah, I wasn't thinking, but we overslept. He'd kill you. I can't take you back to the B&B, can I? Yeah, but here... I don't get that bathroom done by the time they get back. I can wait back to my bonus. Well, you better get cracking then, mate. You can help me. What? You still owe me for that van? Make your way for registration. They'll direct each of you to a booth. <laughs> so you don't mind that you might lose your wife to Westminster? Why should I? Just because she's spending time in London doesn't mean to say our relationship has to suffer. <laughs> <laughs> that's a matter of opinion. You didn't get any further than Hutton. And look how that's corrupted you. I beg your pardon? She'll be playing with the big fish down there. She'll go the same way as you. Mark my words. Absolute nonsense. If you just like to make your way over there, and don't forget, vote for Gloria Pollard. I'll vote for who I want. You can't buy me. Nor me. Ah, there 
there you are. Thought you deserted us. Oh, I've been to Leeds, buying something for Danny. Yeah, I heard you two had fallen out. Well, that's just the sort of thing he's been looking for. <laughs> He'll love it. Yeah, only not coming from me. Tell you what, would you give it to him? What exactly happened between you two? Oh, you know, just a stupid misunderstanding. Upshot being, he moved into the B&B. Yes, but uh, what caused it? Uh, it's a long story. Uh, so, will you give him the print? Well... Please, Rodney. All right. <laughs> She's eaten the entire contents of the biscuit barrel. Who has? Well, who do you think? Steph. Well, maybe she was hungry. Anyway, she can afford the calories. She's as thin as a rake. Anyway, who's saying it wasn't Danny? No, oh, he's moved out. I'm sick to the back teeth of her. Sick to the back teeth of who? Are you deaf? Steph? Is there anyone you don't get off on bitching about? Well, I notice you don't want to live in with you and Marlon. We're a couple. We need our space, especially with Christmas coming up. Anyway, you're lucky to find anyone prepared to live in the same house as you. Oh, get lost. Oh, I almost forgot. Paddy rang from Hawaii. Oh, yeah? Mm. Him and Emily won't be back till the end of the week. Delayed flights, apparently. Cheap airlines for you. Anyway, he asked me to let you know. Oh, what do they think they're playing at? I need Emily here. Oh, you're not the only one they're letting down. I mean, Ron has gone off to start another job, and so it's me and Zoe doing everything, which basically means I'm doing everything. Thank you, Mrs. Pollard. Thank you. Right, then off to do more canvassing, I think. Right, well, uh, see you later. Bye. And have you voted yet, Mr. Pollard? Ah, uh, no, not yet. I've been assisting my wife. The wife I could end up losing. You're not going to lose, Gloria. She's going to Westminster. Eric, I know how worried you are, and I think you're coping remarkably well. But you and Gloria will remain a team, whatever happens. So how's it going? Oh, very well. And Mrs. Pollard, what percentage of the voters would you say have backed her? Oh, it's going really very well, Mr. Graham. Really? I'm very surprised to hear that. Yeah, Mrs. Pollard's got lots of supporters, easily a majority. Uh, are you sure? Of course. Huh. Well, <laughs> that's uh, excellent news. There you are, Danny boy. Don't say I never give you anything. Where'd you get this? Oh, some antique shop in Leeds. Well, thanks, Rodney. How much do I owe you? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> it's not from me, it's from Steph. Mm, Steph. Some sort of peace offering? Yeah, well, she can get lost. I still don't know what you two have fallen out over. Why don't you ask her? I tried. Well, she didn't say out. Yeah, there's a surprise. Anyway, apart from that, how are you? I hear Ollie's moved out to her dad's. Yeah, just great. Lost my girlfriend. Had to move house. Yeah, never better. I'll see you later, Rocky. Right then. What time's the table book for? You're not going like that, are you, Dad? Well, you lot aren't exactly dressed up to the nines, either. Go and put something smarter on, Dad. Oh, like you have. Well, we'll get ready in a sec. Well, you're leaving it a bit late, aren't you? Anyway, what's all the fuss about? Nobody cares what you wear to a restaurant these days. Trust me, Dad. Make the effort, it'll be worth it. Where's your leather jacket? Well, you think I should put that on? Of course. Go on. Go and dust it down. Oh. Last. The journey home felt longer than the holiday. Always does, doesn't it? Yeah. Mind you, if we lived out there, we could kiss goodbye to all that travelling. Yeah, we can dream. I was serious when I said we could live out there. Weren't you when you said you thought it was a good idea? Well, yeah, it would be nice, but it's just a fantasy, isn't it? I mean, the reality would be different after two weeks. Louise, it was paradise out there. Ray, I grew up in Australia and most people think that's paradise, but I'm happy here. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Thank you. 
can have it. Danny, I wanted to make amends. No, well, I'm not interested in your amends. Danny, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you or your family. Yeah, but you never do mean to, do you? Danny, I really want to make things up to you. I know how much you wanted to add this print to your collection, so please, take it. OK. I remember what I said. Don't make us friends. Right. Biscuits. Thank you, Mrs Blackstock. How's she doing, would you say? Well, uh, it's difficult to be certain. Lousy, then. <laughs> oh, they are, Mr Pollard. You're cutting it fine. Polls aren't open for much longer. So? Well, you, you haven't voted. No prizes for guessing who he'll be supporting. Can nobody say anything else to me today? It's up to me who I vote for. See ya. I'm sorry. That's more like it. I thought you lot were getting changed. Yeah, well, the thing is, Dad, we're, we're not going. What? Well, we are staying in. So you can enjoy yourself a bit. Will someone tell me what's going on? We've arranged a date for you. Oh, no. <laughs> what are you playing at? It's for your birthday. What, a blind date? From an agency or something? No, of course not. It's with a friend, a special friend. <sighs> I don't like the sound of this at all. Oh, come on, Dad, you'll enjoy yourself. She'll be waiting in the pub. She's lovely. I picked a flower for her. <sighs> OK, then. But it better not be with Edna Birch. <laughs> As if. Go on, then, who is it? Well, she's kind of glamorous. Kind of. She wears a lot of makeup. You know the type. Yeah, knows how to handle herself. Yeah, you won't want to get in a fight with her. Oh. Well, she sounds like a female gladiator so far. <laughs> well, you'll never know if you don't go to her. See you later. <laughs> you had a good holiday? Yeah, fantastic. Come back to a completed RC. Eh? All done on time, too. There you go. Ta. What about the bonus? There is no bonus. <laughs> Hang on a minute. I finished the job by the deadline, didn't I? I worked hard here. I don't deny it. You drank your fell too, didn't you? You what? I'd say you drank your bonus, Mac. I don't know what you're talking about. I left a full decanter of brandy in the kitchen. You're the only one with keys. Might not have been him. Yeah, it was. Anyway, now maybe we can get on with enjoying our evening. Well, how about we go to the pub, see Diane? I want to spend the evening alone with you. The longer we keep the neighbours at a distance, the more it'll still feel like we're on holiday. Oh, go on, just one drink. I want to get to one other gossip. Right. We'll go for last orders. Good. But first, young lady... Woo! Oh, let's go and look at the new bedroom. <laughs> View everywhere. I must have dozed off. Right. Now, I've got a couple more areas to canvas. I'd best set up. It's too late for that. No. Oh, my goodness, I must have been here an hour. Oh, no! There's nothing more we can do. It's all down to the count now. Mrs Blackstock, you look like a film star. Yeah, like Shelley Winters on a bad day. I heard that, Viv. And a beat term and monster. Jack, you look great. Ta. Any particular reason? Kids have set me up on a date. Don't know what they're playing at. Anyone I know? 
Well, your guess is as good as mine. Right, see you later. Phew. <laughs> so what's funny? It's me, a daft apath. Happy birthday. Oh, I see. Well, there's no need to look so disappointed. Well, to be honest, I don't much feel like doing anything after everything's been happening lately. I think that's why they had the idea. Come on, we've got to try and enjoy ourselves for all our sakes. The kids paid for this too. They didn't. Not cheap either. That's how much they want you to enjoy today. Come on, let's go through the back. Sorry, uh, I didn't mean to sound ungrateful. Oh, we don't have to go out if you don't want to. I suppose it must feel like we're ignoring what happened to poor Angie. <sighs> yeah, just a bit. But things have to go on, haven't they? And the kids wanted to try and give you a bit of a lift on your birthday. Yeah, I know. I suppose it's times like these you should count your blessings. Realise who your friends are and do your best to look after them. And make the most of the time you've got with them, because you never know when it's going to end. Precisely. But still, I'll phone the restaurant and cancel, shall I? We don't have to do anything extravagant tonight. No, no, we'll go. It was a nice idea, and I'd really like to spend the evening with you. Yeah. Well, you always make me laugh, and I've missed that. Um, I won't tell you how my kids described you, though. How do you mean? Well, as a blind date, I thought I was going to find a right old battle axe. See your horrible little lot. Where are you, Doctor? Is everything all right? Well, I'm not sure. Elaine Corker and the other candidates are inside. Uh, do you uh, do you know the result? We will do. You did very well, Gloria, but I'm afraid it wasn't outstanding. Oh, I'm sorry, darling. Still, if so, it's not the end of the world, is it? Eh? <laughs> we tried. And at least this way we're able to stay together. It, it may be for the best. Uh, no, I'm sorry. What I mean to say is there was not one clear winner. Uh, sorry? Well, the election was too close to call. We'd like a recount. 